codes of every description and two so far is applicable to services and applies to services of every description. I now call the right Honourable Edward Miliband, Leader of the Opposition. Mr Deputy Speaker, the Chancellor spoke for an hour, but one fact says it all, and he couldn't bring himself to say it. Growth down last year, this year and next year. It's the same old Tories, it's hurting, but it isn't working. What, what did he say last year about growth? Judge me on the figures. Well, judge him, we will. Every time he comes to this House, growth is downgraded. Last June, 2011 growth, down from 2.6% to 2.3%. In November, down again. And in January, what did the Prime Minister say? His three priorities for the year were growth, growth, growth. And what happened in this budget? Growth down, down, down. And taking account of all the measures, and taking account of all the measures, what, what is... We should show the same courtesy that was shown to the Chancellor of Gatshaw. Yeah. Leader of the Opposition. Mr Speaker, what is the Chancellor's singular, singular achievement to deliver a budget for growth that downgrades the growth forecast? Down this year to 1.7%, downgraded next year to... And Mr Deputy Speaker, it didn't happen by chance, it happened by choice. His choice. And it's the wrong choice to go too far and too fast. In his own words in the June budget, he chose to go £40 billion further and faster in tax rises and spending cuts than our plan to halve the deficit over four years. It's that pace of cuts that has seen consumer confidence fall in almost every month since the general election. In his first budget, the Chancellor promised steady and sustained economic recovery. And when last September's growth figures came out, the Chancellor took the credit. He called the figures a vote of confidence in the government's economic policy. But when the economy contracted in the fourth quarter, what did he do? He blamed the snow. M Mr Deputy Speaker, even he, even he must appreciate the irony. Because while the Prime Minister was grounded from his trip to Thailand, he was on the piste in Klosters. I guess it was the right type of snow for a skiing holiday, just the wrong type of snow for our economy. But, 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 Mr. De but Mr Deputy Speaker, what is, it? what is it about the British snow? Because they had worse snow in Germany, a big freeze in France, in the US, the worst blizzards for decades. But this but despite all of that, but despite all of that, their economies grew in the fourth quarter. And while our growth forecasts have worsened, theirs have improved. The German economy, the, the, chan the, chancellor, the chancellor should just calm down a little bit, Mr Deputy Speaker. The German economy is forecast to grow more strongly than it was last year. So is the United States. Growth in the world economy has been revised up. But which is the major country downgrading its growth forecast? The United Kingdom. Yeah. Mr Deputy Speaker, it's not the wrong type of snow to blame. It's the wrong type of Chancellor. Yeah. The wrong type of Chancellor in the wrong type of government with the wrong priorities for Britain. Mr Deputy Speaker, Mr Deputy Speaker, he also... Oh, oh, oh. Look, look, courtesy should be shown, but can I say to everyone... The public out there also wants to hear what the opposition's got to say. If there are government members who do not want to listen, then please leave the chamber. But the public out there wants to hear both sides of this own. Some people may agree, some may disagree. Leader of the opposition. Mr Deputy Speaker, they shout and jeer as unemployment hits a 17-year high. What more do you need to know about the party opposite? 